يا مرحبا بكم من جديد مشاهدينا بننتقل الان وياكم الى لقاء اجرته فيه الزميله هاله ابو علوان لقاء مع نائب عمده تالين السيد يوسف فيم حول هدف زيارته الى الامارات وكيفيه رغبه تالين في تطوير العلاقات مع الامارات في اطار مبادرات حمايه البيئه والمناخ بالتحديد طبعا تمحورت النقاشات ايضا حول برنامج اختبر في تالين وتالين للاشخاص يلي ما بيعرفوا موجوده باستونيا وهي بلد جميل جدا يعرف بطبيعته ومناخه الجميل صيفا وشتاء البارد وتلوجه شتاء بيساعد البرنامج جميع الشركات الناشئه على اختبار افكارها من اجل تحسين حمايه البيئه والمناخ يلي بتشتهر فيهم تالين هالامر طبعا دعا الامارات من خلاله وجميع الدول لتبادل القصص النجاح من خلال هالبرنامج منتابع يسعدنا أن يكون معنا اليوم نائب عمدة تالين عاصمة أستونيا السيد يوسف فيم Good morning يوسف and welcome to Dubai Good morning, happy to be here Is it your first visit here? It's my first visit here, yes. And how long you're staying? Unfortunately, only for a couple of days. Estonia is known for the green economy and environmental initiatives. If I want to like zoom in more into Tallinn and Estonia, you have great initiatives. Recently, you also launched the test in Tallinn. And as you mentioned, the European green capital, which is Tallinn chosen for. What do you want to achieve also for Tallinn and Estonia in terms of environmental protection, renewable energy, you know, mitigating climate disasters and all of that? Well, yes, Tallinn is the European Green Capital. It's an initiative from the European Commission and we were selected uh, for 2023. So uh, I would say that the European Union is one of the most ambitious uh, yes. Um, ambitious participants throughout the years and uh, with the position of uh, being the European Green Capital I would say that we're in the forefront uh, of the ambition uh, as, as a city of Tallinn. Um, I would say that uh, there are three main parts uh, of uh, kind of achieving climate neutrality mm -hmm. and better environment in the in the future. Firstly, what I mentioned already, that there's, there has to be a very specific pledge that yes. is backed by actions to reduce Absolutely. greenhouse gas emissions. Uh, secondly, we have to talk about uh, uh, resources because uh, we, we, we don't have them endlessly and at the same time they contribute to the greenhouse gas emissions. So we have mm -hmm. to talk about circular economy. Yes. And thirdly, we have to look into uh, social justice yeah. because uh, there are a lot different groups in the uh, in, in all of the states, different uh, people, and often the changes uh, affect the most vulnerable parts of the societies yeah. most. So we have to see that the green transition and uh, going towards climate neutrality, uh, that it doesn't affect negatively the, the most vulnerable, vulnerable parts of the society. Yes. And uh, when we talk about Tallinn and its initiatives, then we see that there can be a solution in technology, there can be a, uh, a solution from the private sector as yes. well. That's why we support innovation. Yes. Uh, I, I didn't mention earlier, but we do have a large business delegation here yes. as well, because these are the contacts that can help us find the new technical solutions to yes. many of the problems we have today. So we have an initiative test in Tallinn. We invite uh -huh. all sorts of companies all over the world to come and test in the city environment in, in Tallinn. It's mm -hmm. a city of half a million people, so uh, you can test it out, evaluate yes. your products. And uh, we are looking, uh, especially focusing on towards uh, mobility, energy uh -huh. efficiency, and, uh, and well, this is of course part of the green yeah. technologies initiatives we have, but we are looking also to all sorts of different uh, solutions that the uh, companies and entrepreneurs can yeah. offer us. Absolutely. Um, Mr. Yosef, regarding test and talent, is it like for entrepreneurs who already are there or just young startups who can go and test? Who can be involved in that for people watching us to know more? Well, in Test in Tallinn, we expect that the product uh, is already an, a product that has been um, through the first phases of testing. Mm -hmm. So what we offer is that they can, the companies can bring their products yes. or services and test them in the real environment. So it's kind of the final test before launching it uh, to the public and because Tallinn has Tallinn and the whole Estonia has a very good experience in 
in the digital solutions in uh, digital transition You're an and, and we, we, yeah. yes we have an e-government we are also open our people are very open to new technologies yes. so uh, it's it's not uncommon to mm -hmm. see small robots driving around the city of Tallinn and of people are very used to it so we offer the city of Tallinn yes. as a test bed and and uh, it's an opportunity to also find new connections because many of the solutions can come through uh, through finding the connections, through discussing it with other people, yeah. but then making decisions as well. Are you looking for partnerships with the United Arab Emirates or any of the countries? Well, uh, Estonian uh, foreign policy is represented by the Estonian government and yes. that uh, they uh, have their own policy here. Mm -hmm. But uh, we are, uh, as, as ta city of Tallinn, we are mostly uh, centered towards the uh, Eurocities uh, mm -hmm. group okay. to, uh, to come together and to make sure that in the future we would have a similar agenda, a common agenda to take action uh, for climate change. And I think that uh, this is something that uh, we, we have to work with. Okay. But at the same time, of course, all sorts of uh, connections uh, to Tallinn if there are uh, businesses who want to come to Tallinn, if there are uh, cities who have good experience mm -hmm. that they can share, then of course all that is, is welcome and, and we are uh, looking with open eyes to, uh, to see uh, and experience uh, everything uh, that we can. Yeah, wishing you all the best with all these initiatives. Thank you so much, Mr. Josep Wim. Thank you. Thank you so much for being with us today. Thank you for having me. Thank you.